Over the past couple years, GeoGuessr has grown significantly from both a user base and competitively with high level players from countries all over the world, including China. But this is a more recent community because due to internet restrictions, it's very hard to play GeoGuessr in China. But thanks to a website created by the Chinese community, they developed a GeoGuessr replica called Tuxin, which is just a legal version that allows players to play GeoGuessr in China. And thanks to Jupa, a good friend and GeoGuessr Pro that represented China in the World Cup. We had the confidence in from Lindley that resulted in near 5K last round, so why wouldn't it happen again? Jupa. Oh time. my god, okay. Wow, don't mess with Jupa or you'll get the FUPA. <laughs> I gained access to a Tuxin account that's typically only able to be made using WeChat. So let's talk to Jupa and let's play some games and let's find out more about this community. So like, how would you say, how good is the community right now? I know it's like somewhat developing pro scene. Is it competitive at all? Or are they still kind of basic entry level? Do they know the basics? What's the community like over there right now? Yeah, so they obviously did a lot of translation on Funkin's Guide. And I think that was really helpful. And I also got uh, several personal DMs from people that are asking for certain metas. And obviously I shared them. Yeah, generally it's getting better. I'd say there are some like really good tuition players start to play on Geo as well. And then there are people with 1500 plus or even close to 1600 rating so it's hard for me to like measure how big the community is Okay, interesting. And so GeoGuessr just doesn't work in China? Okay, I think it's more like a server issue. It's not like it's banned, just many foreign game sites, they don't have server in China, so it oh. renders it unplayable. And for comp, I mean, losing rating if you try to do that. So True. yeah, you have to set up some type of BPM. So ignore <laughs> my, my ignorance here, but isn't Google banned in China? How does Tuxin get away with like using Street View? I don't think I've tried opening Street View, but Tuxin has some way to access VPI. I think the dev actually talks to Google and, and uh, Google despite like having a lot of their services banned in China still has office there so we still have a Google presence it's just uh, the search engine and like YouTube stuff has been banned <laughs> okay so they've gotten around that that's interesting how long until you feel like the Chinese competitive scene in GeoGuess or Tuxin until someone's better than you until like you have to like actually really put, start grinding again I mean I've been playing since like very early 2021 so it has been a while but for the Chinese community I think like the main problem is the user like most of them are high schoolers it's hard for me to hard for them to commit to geo if they are like getting better they're posting videos like they beat the known people in the international community and one more question jupa i'm about to go play some online games right now it, what are the odds i lose a match well until i someone to play a queue against you <laughs> can you queue stop me at the very end of the video is that can, can that happen <laughs> I, and like i said i don't really play their comp anymore last summer i played it i played like 250 games and didn't lose any, I've become bored. And many of them reported me. I, I, I think I got reported. I played like 500 ranked games in like two days and Fair I just enough. stopped. Uh, we'll see. But we'll but see. yeah, we'll uh, see. Cool. That's, a good, that's a good PR answer there, too. All right, I'm yeah. excited to see. I'm right. excited. All right. Okay, so this is a site, Tuxun. It's obviously all in Chinese. And Jupa also told me that this was one developer that did all of this by himself. So props to him for that. And quite frankly, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Like, I don't know what's single player, obviously. So I'm gonna have to translate this to English so I can read it. Okay, so they have a daily challenge. That's the same win streak, question bank, reveal the map. Random street view, street view wonders. Uh, man, this is really cool. Fried rice quiz. I've seen the word fried rice a lot. Like, I wonder if that's like, like in names and stuff on in China. Oh wait, this is like, this takes you to other videos? Oh, okay, this is all the videos. 600,000 views, bro, I gotta get on Doyen or Bilibi. Oh, this is really cool. I mean, these videos have like thousands of views, 600,000 views, 718,000. World Geog Geography Battle, Com compete with the masters. That's cool. All right, let's play some comp though. Let's play some comp and let's see how good these players are. All right, we got a match. Flow being blue, sweat, sweat being flow based. Okay, lock in. Okay, round one is Azores. Yeah, I don't know how good the players are gonna be. Also, it's no move, which is like so much better. Imagine starting a game and it's only no move. They did not guess. Okay, Ghana. And it's going to be, oh, we have the compass. Okay, so it's like an east-west. I think I have to go like somewhere. Oh my God, this map is, it's so hard to work with this map. I'm not used to, why are the roads not show, the same, the roads I want aren't showing up on here because it's not, I don't think it's the same map. I know it's north of Tamale. Is it ever the road in like max north? The border, oh my God, I'm having so much trouble. Okay, I'm just gonna go somewhere over here. I mean, that was way too hard. It's one of these northern like roads, but the roads aren't covered as well on the Huawei map because you're not allowed to have the Google map API, I'm assuming on here, or you just want the Chinese. Okay, it was up there and if i could find the road i would have been oh it is there okay you just have to zoom in a lot more okay i mean that was that was not a bad first match that my opponent did not guess we have another opponent 
We have Mongolia, somewhere by Ulan. It's actually really hard to play without restrictions, but yeah, this is cool. They made it no move. Hopefully this person guesses, so we can actually have a game here. They did, and they went in the water. Off to a great start here. Let's see a new Peru here. It was Peru a little more north, but they went to Venezuela, which is not on Street View. That's okay. Ooh, fun, okay. Should win here, I think. I think I pick up nine points here. We'll see how much they know, though. All right, so that person was guessing, so that's better. But assuming that this account doesn't really have much ELO, I would consider this kind of the same skill range as like the entry level GeoGuessr players on GeoGuessr itself. Let's keep it going, though. And then we'll 1v1 Jupa and see how we do. I can sense that someone's gonna give me a good challenge here in a second. I can sense it. All right, this is Funchal. 15 seconds. We'll see where they go here. They went Mexico, it's fair. Can I get a two round in though? Should be Sweden. Oh, this glitch, I forgot where the glitch is. They guessed already, oh, I guessed. Oh, I've chosen, I've chosen, I've chosen. Okay, we're good. That's super north. Oh, okay, that makes sense actually. And I won two rounds, okay. I mean, Jupa said he won like 250 games in a row. So I don't think I'll lose a game if I'm being honest, but let's keep it going. You never know until you try. We'll play one more like this and then I'll play NMPZ. Let's see how that goes. Let's go hungry here. Hungry for a win. They went to France. Oh, it's the same guy again, okay. Can he survive the two rounds? This guy probably thinks I'm cheating, I'm not gonna lie. That's okay though, because in my heart I know I'm not. Mir Zuliev, from Germany. Oh, there's street signs there, I don't know this. Oh, he's closer, okay. All right, my first damage done. That's good, that's good, that's what we like to see. Hamburg, I'm not reading, reading is cringe. Okay, sir, okay, we have a little competition here, mister. We gotta lock him. No shot, they get this. I'm just gonna go just south of Santiago, which is right here. Oh, did I guess down there? Oh, I did not mean to guess down there, but that's okay. So I don't think they get chilly anyway, so it should be fine. Okay, they went orange. It was just Santiago. Wait, I didn't give- oh my god, I fumbled that so hard. I did not mean to guess that south. <laughs> okay, lock in, lock in. Malta. Surely I win, right? Yes, we'll take that. Victory. I'll play this game in MPZ, Turkey. What are the odds a person gets turkey on this? I will say slim, we have a white gen 4 card though. This is free if you play the game a lot. What I think is really cool about this is that Jupa was saying that, great guess, Jupa was saying that they're taking the English documents and they have people translating them to Chinese for the Chinese community, which I think is really cool because this game is so accessible now that in the terms that it's so easy to learn because of all the documents and things are public to learn about. And so making that accessible to the Chinese community, I think is really important. And we'll get a two round win there. Where this community looks like it is right now is probably where Geogaster was in its infancy in the pro community like four or five years ago, or maybe a little before that. And so once you get like a couple of people like Jupa, like advocating for the community and building it up, it's gonna be really cool to watch these players really develop a good skill set on, on Geogaster. I think that's really fun because I think the more people that have the privilege to play this game, the better. So Alice Springs is north, somewhere out here. Nice. Oh, we have a new, we have a new play. First of all, I don't play Genshin Impact based. Neither do I. I play Geogaster. Iceland. I always told people the reason why I uploaded GS reviews in the first place was so more people could see how fun the game was. And so for it to get a new audience like this in China, I think is really cool. Great guess there. But first of all, I don't play Genshin Impact. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm super excited for them. See, like basic things like Guat Car, you know? Make sure I'm clicking Guatemala every now and then. <laughs> wait, it's, it's like, wait, I have to look at the borders and stuff. Okay, there's more north. Wait, wasn't I supposed to be playing this in NPZ? I totally forgot. I got lost. That's okay though. So lock you. So I'll, I'll, I'll just get a in here and somewhere like, maybe it's this road over here. Mm, probably not. It's probably gonna be more over here. Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. I already guessed, oh, I keep doing that. I think it might be more west, yeah. And that will be game. All right, but that person was good. That was good, that was a good fight. But you could, you could tell that there's like a kind of a, a lot of things people haven't learned yet, but based off of like going from zero, they're doing really well, picking up a good vibe. I hope I'm not taking away their elo. I, I don't think I am, so. All right, NPC. Nice guess. Tooks in four and account eleven. Okay, we got the first of all I don't play Genshin. I can I can see this person actually beating me because they can make it to late round multis and get good guesses. So I'm gonna lock in here. I'll get this. Okay, they're good. I like this. First of all, I don't play Genshin Impact. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe you should stick to GeoGuessr. Okay, this is not easy. Where do I go on this? Is that a hungry so like high sign ever? I don't know. It's somewhere in Europe, obviously, but it could be like France or Denmark uh, or Poland ever. No, it was hungry. Okay, good guess. It went Baltic. That's that's good. I'll take those points. Uh, Spain or Greece or something. I guess I go Spain here. I can see I can see like a weird Greece or, or like Croatia or something, but I just safe bet it's just Spain. But I can see I can see Italy or Greece here, or Corsica. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I lost. Ooh, lost some points there. Okay, lock in. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be. I mean, obviously it's Ireland or UK. Question is, do you go, where do you go? Do I, and I can lose points here if it's not Ireland, then I go, I'll go well, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm water hedging it. I'm water hedging it. Listen, call me a coward. They went Ireland. Okay, listen, they're winning. We gotta lock in. Cool. 
Oh, I should went used to the Andes. What am I doing? I gotta, I gotta be more careful. I can't be making these guesses like this. <laughs> I just space plonked. Uh, but it's gonna be somewhere used to the Andes here, surely. Oh, it's just north. And they went Bulgaria. So we'll take that. Victory. Let's do one more game and then I'll talk to Jupa and we can 1v1 Jupa. But I think my biggest takeaway is that I, I think maybe the top 1% of the players in this community are probably really good. And I think as the scene develops and there's more options and more people making videos to learn, it will grow tremendously fast. And I think that's a really cool thing for the game of GeoGuessr. And I hope eventually we get some GeoGuessr servers in China so we can have some people grinding some ELO over there in GeoGuessr. But until then, I will say too, the queuing times here are pretty long. I've been cutting them out, but they've been like minutes or like five or 10 minutes at some points, I think. So hopefully we get some more people playing. All right, we got a game. That took a little long. Uh, do you go, yeah, fuck it, ball. I mean, it's obviously Kyrgyzstan, but the question is, do you go here, here call, or do you go like more south down here? But we'll see if Furry can get a good score here. Okay, what's up? Okay, they got Kurg. Okay, we have a good player because they know the Kurg card. This is gonna be fun. Okay, lock in. I'm playing an NPC though. I'm playing an NPC. Ooh, Sri Lanka is fun. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm locked in. We have to be furry here. Nice, okay, they went Bingo Dash. Happens. Another Malta. Well, that should be a dub, I think, surely. Spain. That's a fine guess. That is a fine guess. All right, Jibba, let's, let's lock in. 1v1. Yeah, uh, let's just check settings. That was in fine. Starting off strong here. Mm, I'm gonna stick with Finland yeah, yeah. if it's Sweden. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I mean, that's hard. Uh, it's been interesting, I haven't had this fully figured out. No, I mean, I haven't looked at Kurg at all. Oh, all the way, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought it was like near Lake, but like... Oh, it's not Tal- yeah, okay, yeah. No, the very sound was like Talus, so that's, that's reasonable. I'm just, I'm just proud I could find Bhutan on the map, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that would be kinda... Now, the, the most problem I have is with Lesotho. Are there like other. No, I mean, you can get Lesotho because play... it's fucking bordering. I play their uh, uh, the country switch feature a lot, and I just click my green, and I don't like CPA. I'm just clicking. Yeah. What is this? That's telling me. <laughs> I'm kind of confused. What is this guardrail? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, nice. nice. So they do have this car coloring. We'll go more north. Ah, okay. What mean, round did the multi start on? This round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you find the. Uh, oh, shit. That's yeah, a lot no, of points. I've seen stuff very sound. 5,000. Yeah, lock like it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, like, to me, this map is pretty decent. Wait, this is uh, a crazy lock, no? Yeah, like he. I think he handpicked a lot of locks, so like to me, it's pretty decent. With this, you can kind of. I think it wasn't panned too well, but like you can. You can still find see stuff. That's yeah. that's that's. A, I've never seen a road like that covered in Puerto Rico. Even recently, I've been finding stuff like it's. Uh, oh, okay. Jeez. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, bro. Oh, let's go. Nice. Yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, nice. Three X damage. My best for the fans. Yeah. Uh, fun. Okay, so, yes. I actually don't like. Eh, we'll see. We could win here, low key. No. A thousand. <laughs> nah, you're fine. Capital guesser. <laughs> yeah, okay, bro. No, I went way too much right, for that. I, no, I still do. I still do capital guessing. Now that I'm like even worse, do that. <laughs> I'll do loser. Oh no. no. And what better way to end the video than with a blunder? You know what happens. Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this and you know getting to play against some of the Chinese players. And I think we'll come back in like a year or two and reflect on this video and be like, man, when there's some really good players coming from China and representing China in the World Cup and a, a high level across the scene, it'll be really cool to see this website as like a, a foundation of the community. So yeah, shout out to everyone in that community that's kind of working on translating and educating the community. So if you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe or don't. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.